So I am with Steve and Joe McCarthy, and I remember when you guys were first uh, launching uh, your ministry, and uh, it feels like it's been a minute, as they say. So, so kind of bring us up to speed. Uh, actually, church planning is a big part of, of what we are doing, and our main evangelistic tool in many of these new communities starts with a soccer ball. Um, we found if you were to just do a, a typical type of outreach, most parents wouldn't send their kids. But if you start something with soccer, a sport that they're passionate about, um, they're more willing to do that. And so through our sports clubs, we're able to teach kids not only about soccer, but connect them with values and stories about Jesus. We get to know their families, their families simultaneously. And later sure. when we go to launch these churches, it's actually the families of the kids that are part of our, our soccer clubs that are the, the first to attend. So we've helped establish 35 churches during that time here. And uh, we have a few more that, that we're in the process of mentoring and training the, the, the new pastors. And then uh, simultaneously, we've come to realize that, you know, a big part is helping to launch these new churches, but the next step is helping them to have a building where they can grow, where they can do different types of ministry and outreaches. And so we, we got everything together. We, we were ready to kick it off in uh, early 2020 and then the pandemic hit <laughs> and the borders closed and we wondered, you know, is it really the right time to do it? And we just looked around and we saw the needs and we said, what, what better time? And so even though the teams couldn't come in, even though, you know, uh, we wondered where the finances would come from, we said, all right, we're going to go ahead. We'll start building these these new churches and see what God does. And so 18 of those have been completed since the pandemic has started, giving new congregations an opportunity to meet and to make a greater difference in their communities.